Hey, what's up everybody? For today's video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. I'll be giving you guys my thoughts about where we are in the market, as well as where we might be heading in the near future. Right now, we are seeing a small pullback for the Bitcoin price, trading at just under $33,000 uh, from yesterday's rally. Uh, that was to be expected, because like I always say, with every pump, there's a dump. With every dump, there's a pump. Things don't move in a straight line. I'll keep reminding people that. This was to be expected. We had a rally, guys. We had a rally from hitting that zero line on the Fibonacci retracement uh, the other day to where we were yesterday. We had a pretty good rally. So that was to be expected. With every good rally, there's going to be a small pullback. It can't just keep going, guys. Uh, so we are having a pullback. Uh, and, you know, the biggest thing to consider with this pullback is those options expiring. Uh, not just for Bitcoin, but more importantly for ETH. ETH has the biggest options expiring to date for that asset today. So there's that factor at play. That's uh, really the main factor in my mind uh, of what's going on with the crypto price right now or crypto prices right now. Uh, so it is what it is, though. You know, guys, uh, we can only be reactive to the market. We can't uh, we can't will it to do anything that we wanted to do. I wanted to just go in a straight line, to be honest with you, to the upside. That would be great. Uh, but it's not going to do what I want. It's going to do probably the complete opposite. So with that in mind, and to give you guys my prediction for the Bitcoin price, what I see is doing, guys, is I see is kind of ranging in between this channel, the 0.382 to the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement channel. I see it's ranging here. If you don't catch a rally here to the upside and then coming back down after testing this uh, the Fibonacci line as resistance and coming back down before again pumping back and breaking it. I could see it's coming back down to this Fibonacci line, a 0.236, having a bounce, getting back into the middle of the channel, going sideways, and then rallying back up to this next line, uh, which would be the 0.382 Fibonacci line. Uh, that's what I see short term for Bitcoin. Long term, I'm always going to be bullish. There's just way too much bullish news coming out that these uh, social media platforms and news uh, platforms are not telling you guys, guys. We're, like, To be honest, and I'm not going to get into it because I've said it so many times, guys, we're being manipulated. It's so obvious. Anybody that studies these charts, studies cryptocurrencies, that's in the know, that looks at these things all day, every day like I do, will tell you that it's so obvious that we're being manipulated. You know, we have El Salvador, which is his old news now, accepting Bitcoin as their legal form of tender. We have a second country now saying that they're also leaning towards or, or in uh, the works of trying to get Bitcoin uh, legalized as their form of tender. Uh, we have several other countries in South America, especially or specifically um, that are also leaning towards the idea of breaking away from the dollar and making Bitcoin their legal form of tender. Guys, that's insanely bullish, guys. That's stuff that people was only dreaming about uh, in past cycles. Actually, even last year, we were just dreaming about it as far as like the, for the Bitcoin adoption uh, uh, and, and fundamentals and technicals go, guys. Like that is the best news ever. And not to mention, there's a lot more other good news, you know, development wise, uh, Lightning Network and all this other stuff for Bitcoin coming out. And just look at all these big Western institutional companies preparing for the mass adoption of Bitcoin, guys. Look, did you guys notice on Venmo, they are now allowing crypto assets to be traded and bought through their platform. Look at PayPal. They also are allowing it. Look at, uh, you know, uh, the stock market. They're, they're in the works for, uh, you know for allowing mass adoption to happen for these crypto assets guys watch what they do not what they say that's what I, you know people have been saying this for especially the past two years watch what they do not what they say not what they're telling you but watch what they're doing swim with the wells not against them guys everything is telling me that big money and institutions and governments are preparing for bitcoin adoption so why would you bet against that, guys? Why would you bet against that? Why would you bet against? There's senators that hold Bitcoin or that, and that are buying Bitcoin, guys. Think about it, guys. These senators and stuff like that, they're the first ones that are going to be in the know with any kind of regulations, any kind of progress uh, or, or, you know, or with everything. They're going to know. They wouldn't be adopting things if they knew it was going to go sideways on them, guys. They're, you know, again, watch what they do. Not what they say. If I go back here on the Bitcoin uh, bigger time frame, guys, I shared this not too long ago, guys. It, it, and especially if, if we're going off patterns, we're going off statistics, we're going off math, you know, we, we are numbers people. Look at the big picture here, guys. Now, this is only going back to the second halving. 
for Bitcoin. I know I'm going down a rabbit hole, but I think this is really important. If you guys look at the bigger picture, you will see that we have been in nothing but a humongous bull run, even with these massive dips, guys. And right now we're seeing, you know, we're at like, what, 50 something percent from the all time high, something like that. Um, you know, look at look at this. We had a humongous rally here and then we had an 84 percent dip. So we're not even close to the first example I'm showing you. Then we had a rally. Then we had a 72% dip. We're not even close to what we're already accustomed to. So why are we treating this like it's anything different, guys? Honestly, we're doing a lot better. We're doing a lot better every single time we have these 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 uh these uh dumps. You want to call them dumps? They're getting less and less. Look at the big picture: 84, 72, 50. Are you guys catching on? Are you guys catching on to the bigger picture? So long-term investors, guys, don't be shaken out, guys. They're trying to shake you out from your position. They want to take what you have so they can have it later. Not financial advice, just life advice. Do your homework. Do your homework before you guys start running around making assumptions and making statements and selling your positions. Guys, it's almost like selling your freedom. I said this in another video to you guys. Would you sell your freedom for what, what seems like a sliver of security? I wouldn't. That's that's insane. My freedom is way more valuable than any kind of feeling of security. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, moving on to Ethereum, which is uh, the bigger player for the day, guys. Ethereum having, uh, like I said, the largest options call uh, expiring today, to date for this asset. Uh, we're seeing on the Fibonacci retracement tool. We're still showing this last Fibonacci line. Uh, as resistance guys as you guys can see here on the four hour time frame let's go to the six hour time frame maybe it'll be a little bit better uh, the 0.236 line for the fibonacci retracement tool showing strong resistance for the ethereum price uh, and i think this was to be expected again guys with the with the ethereum uh, options uh being called in today um and it being the largest ever for ethereum uh this was to be expected guys uh you know it's really to be honest with you if i go ahead and read you guys uh, parts of this article, uh, of course, they're, they're quoting Coin Telegraph, which I have my opinions about that, but it's still all relevant. There is a disproportionate amount of call options at and above 2200 for Ethereum. Therefore, if ETH's price on June 25th, which is today, is below this level, then 73% 70, of the neutral to bullish options will be worthless. Now, on the flip side of that, though, options have been opened at or below 2100 as well as a result of this 74 percent of these options will become worthless if the price stays above that level um guys what that basically is saying that there's call options really close like they're real they're real tight guys and they're basically about 300 350 dollars apart from each other guys that's nothing in the crypto market we could see a swing happen today which we're seeing it to the downside but we could literally see all of the needs be fulfilled to the downside today and then later on before the market closes a swing to the upside fulfilling all of their needs as well and then we're off to the races guys that could literally happen so while all the sentiment and all it looks all doom and gloom right now you know we're still the last you know it's, we're going it's the last friday we're going into the weekends you know but most people are putting their head downs and preparing for the worst because it's usually dumpage sign literally the unique thing about today guys is it's so close and it's there's so much bullish news that again these news platforms and these social media uh shillers i'll call them are not telling you that i would be very very i wouldn't be surprised if we saw boom, boom, like a roller coaster you know I, I would not be surprised if i didn't see both needs be fulfilled today uh for these option traders guys literally something that could happen i'm not giving you hopium but literally could happen uh we got eth 2.0 rolling out some big development happening for ethereum guys uh you know honestly i won't go into uh too much um adoption things that i was i took up a lot of time with bitcoin uh but even for ethereum guys the, the use case and the development for ethereum is massive we even have countries writing their digital currency on the ethereum platform on the ethereum blockchain they chose ethereum to write their digital code or digital uh aspirations under i'm not going to get into do your homework guys do your homework there's a lot of stuff at play right now for ethereum as well as Bitcoin. Uh, so moving on, uh, uh, what I see happening um, for Ethereum in the short term is just like I said, guys, I, I, I'm going to stick with it, guys. We could come all the way down to the zero line, 
fulfill all the needs on those for those options traders and then we can see a strong rally out of the blue come out of nowhere and fulfill the uh, the opposite side or we could just stay in the middle range here and then do both guys right now we're fulfilling the needs for these options traders on the downside we could you know once they're done once they said okay i've had my fill boom the other side could rally and fulfill their needs as well guys don't think that that's not an option that is it's it's totally an option so i'm that's what i'm going to say this happens guys that's what i think will happen guys um if I was if I was big money, I would make sure it happens that way. Uh, but anyway, that's just me. That's just my opinion, not financial advice. Uh, just telling you guys what I see and what I speculate might happen in the market. Uh, moving over to ADA. ADA's are really, really holding up strong, in my opinion, guys. ADA trading at one dollar and thirty cents. Uh, we saw a high of just about one dollar and thirty nine cents, guys. We were going into the one forty range the other day. Uh, matter of fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I have this. Fibonacci tool right up now, uh, but I wrote a trend line off the 24 minute, um, which unfortunately I could only I only had two touches at that time. Uh, I usually like to have three touches for a trend line, uh, but I wrote this trend line out. Unfortunately, we we had invalidated with everything else going on, like I said, with Bitcoin, with options, and the, and you know Friday and being the weekend and all stuff. Obviously, we broke to the downside, but we're still within this uh, this really strong Fibonacci channel uh, for for ADA guys. We're in between that. 0.382 uh, uh, and 236 for the Fibonacci retracement. I really do see another rally for ADA happening soon. And I mean like back up to the 150s, guys. Rallying back straight through these next two levels and getting back up here in that 150 range. I really do see that happening. There's a lot of really good... Good news coming out for ADA. Look at that. We just went up one one whole cent, guys. We're 131 right now. Um, I could see a strong rally happening for ADA just because everything's looking good with their developers. You know, uh, they're getting a lot more commitments uh, from uh, with 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 countries with Africa news coming out uh, and and developers saying that hey we're ready. You know, once they get the go ahead and once they start launching smart contracts on their platform, we are going, uh, we're going deep. I was going to swear, but we're going to go deep with it. Um, so yeah, that's what I, that's what I think is going to happen, uh, in the short to near future for, for the immediate future though, I could see us kind of just hovering within this range for Fibonacci retracement channel, uh, and before rallying back up to this next, uh, Fibonacci line, which is that 0.382, uh, for ADA again, guys, we've, we've already done that like several times. And I think we knock on that door again after all the needs for these option traders gets fulfilled. Um, speaking of swearing and getting into things, guys, let me go back here and give you guys, uh, my opinion. Let me show you guys something that really irked me, but at the same time, I was really relieved because this clown called Elon Musk has really shown us his, his, his backside the other day when he was tweeting. He hasn't been tweeting about Bitcoin for, for a little while now in compared to what he's used, what we're all used with him doing. Uh, but of course, when we start seeing our rally with the Bitcoin price, what does this clown do? He comes out and starts tweeting again, making fun of people. As a matter of fact, let me go back to, well, this wasn't even the one that initiated it. He came out and uh, made a pretty bad joke, to be honest with you. Right when we were rallying, how many Bitcoin maxis does it take to screw in a light bulb? That was 11 hours ago, guys. Let's go back and take a look at the Bitcoin price uh, 11 hours ago, guys. Let's go to 24 minute because it'll give you guys a better time frame. That was right here. That was right here. So this clown, you guys cannot tell me that this clown is not trying to manipulate the market and or play with normal everyday people, retail investors. He's, dude, he's a clown. He's, he's purposely trying to do damage to people. Maybe not Bitcoin in particular, but he's he is a narcissistic person with a lot of power who is playing with people financially, their livelihoods. He's playing with them. You cannot tell me that this wasn't planned right after we have, you know, I use Market Cypher, right after we have this X here, or I'm sorry, this Blood Diamond here, that this wasn't planned. Great thing that I saw happen though, and I was so happy to see it, is the opposite happened. He, he did, it was right around here where he did that. That uh, that tweet, or might have even been when we were rallying here, but it was around here, is when he did that tweet. We started seeing some downward, and everybody said, "You know what? F you, Elon," and it pumped the price. So it did exactly the opposite of what he intended it to do. It did exact exact opposite. I'm so happy that people are starting to realize that this clown is playing with people, and I hope Elon. I'm gonna say it. I hope you get fined. I hope people. I I hope they stop listening to you. I hope they start recognizing a clown for what a clown is 
and that's you, Elon Musk. You don't care about people's, you don't care about humanity. You don't care about people's well-being. You're not an innovator. You're not like some futuristic guy with all these hopes and big dreams for humanity. You don't care about us at all. You want to know how I know that? Because you followed it up with this. And I don't care what anybody says. Look at this tweet, guys. Look at this tweet. Do you guys not see? Timing is everything. He just tweeted this out. He just tweeted this out. I don't care what you guys say about this. This shows every. He said it clear as day. Timing is everything. He knows exactly what he's doing when he does it every single time he does it. Timing is everything. Thanks, Elon, for showing everybody your cards. Thanks for finally admitting that you're an ass. I'm going to say it once on YouTube. Thanks for admitting that you're a clown. God, I wanted to say that A word so many times. That's what you are. You're a clown. You have no big dreams or hopes for humanity. You're a clown. Matter of fact, let's be real about it. I know I'm going to go into this. I'm going down a rabble. Let's be real about this Elon Musk fanboy base. Let's be real about it, guys. Elon Musk wasn't even the one who invented Tesla. He bought it. He bought it from two other very smart individuals who started Tesla. He bought the idea. You're not an innovator. You don't, you don't invent things. You buy them from other people who are much more smarter than you. Because you come from money. Let's be honest. Your whole, your whole rocket, you didn't invent rockets or rocket fuel or any of these ideas. You're, you're just using people. You're in the fuel energy credit. I know you. I see you, clown. Everybody should see you by now. You're a clown. You don't care about any of us. You're, you don't care about humanity. If it was, then you wouldn't be mining lithium batteries off the backs of really, really poor people. Bus, and not even, not even that, your own employees outed you before about how horrible you treat them in Tesla. You work them to death. And people are like, because they, they're scared of you, they'll say, oh, it's because you know when you have somebody so driven, they're going to push you to the brakes. No, that's also a dictatorship. That's also somebody who, who's, who runs things off and doesn't care about you. That's like almost Stockholm Syndrome. Or if not almost, maybe it is. You have all these other people believing in, in your in your image when you just showed us you just showed us who you really are, Elon Musk. You just showed us who you really are. Your lithium batteries pollute the world more than your cars will ever save the world. You spend a lot of energy consuming and mining lithium batteries refining rocket fuel for your space expeditions you're the biggest hypocrite in the world because maybe not the world but you're the spotlight's on you because you open your mouth too much clown anyway i hope everybody realizes what he's doing and i hope i hope your power gets taken from you i hope not only not only on a regulatory basis but i hope the world starts realizing how much of a clown you are anyway so that's my rant about Elon Musk. <laughs> going on to things, guys. We got a lot of great fundamental things uh, going on for these crypto assets. You know, not all of them, but for a lot of them. Bitcoin, mass adoption. Countries are, are lining up, not just El Salvador. We got other countries trying to make Bitcoin their legal form of tender. We got, we've got senators buying Bitcoin. We have uh, financial institutions lining up for the mass adoption of Bitcoin, getting ready to either buy, sell, or let people hold crypto assets within their platforms. Why do you think that, guys? Because they know it's inevitable. They have to be able to adapt with the times. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is going to get mass adoption, and they're getting ready for it, guys. Move with the whales. Don't swim against them. Listen to what, listen to what they say, but watch what they do, more importantly. Watch their actions. All of their actions are screaming for higher price points later down the road, and they know it. That's why they're doing it. Right now, they're just trying to shake you out of it. They're not telling you the good news. They're not telling you the technicals. They're not telling you the fundamentals because they want to shake you out of your guys' positions before mass adoption. Could be a year. Could be five years. Could be 10 years. They're in it for the long game, guys. They're not in the, they're not in the short game. They're in the long game. Think about it. There's even countries, there's even other countries who are preparing digital dollar, digital, um, their digital dollar on the Ethereum platform. Do your homework, guys. Literally, it's all about doing your homework, realizing the big picture.
But that's my rant. I'm sorry. I know I went down a rabbit hole uh, and ranted about Elon Musk. Uh, I think it's really important that people understand who he is, what he's all about. Uh, that's what I see going on in the market, guys. I hope you guys are being smart with your guys' positions. Uh, I'm buying these dips. Not financial advice. None of this was financial advice. Just my opinions. Uh, but I'm buying these dips. Tell you what. I'm buying these dips. Hope you guys are too. You guys be safe. God bless. Peace.